Okay, this is going to be some basic miscellaneous uh, testing with a volt ohm meter. What we're going to be doing is a few things. First, we're going to um, check this coil. We'll turn it upside down so you can see. This coil has uh, dual output on it. And you can also see that this is the primary side, which is the incoming voltage. The average ohm reading on one of these is going to be 2.4. That's pretty much solid for uh, just about every make, model, and vehicle. But you have to make sure um, in the owner's manual. Turn that to ohms. We're going to come in on the primary side. And we're going to hook one to the positive, one to the negative. We should get about 2.4. You can see we're right around that. If that read anything other than 2.4 if it was up around 3 um, you'd have some corrosion somewhere inside there if it was an OL or an open line the coil inside there would have been broke um, something else you can do on a dual is you can hook one of these up to each side and get an ohm reading like now it's uh, 10 0.7 kilo ohms. Um, if I hook that up and there was a zero, that would mean that the coil on that side is broke. Okay, next is going to be injectors. Um, if you take a look, you can see right there there's an injector, and right there there's an injector. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up across those two prongs. I'll do the upper one so you can see it. And I'll go across. And there I get 12.7 ohms. I can check the other one. 12.7 ohms. Okay. Now, something else we can check is the throttle position sensor. The throttle position sensor is located right here. When you open and close the uh, butterflies on this, um, this has basically a little potentiometer in here where it varies the resistance. So if we were to come in, I'm going to use a jumper wire that's a little bit smaller to help me out. I'm going to hook it on the far left one. I'm also going to hook it on the probe right here. Then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come across to the far right one. Now you can see I'm reading 4.661 kilo ohms. and it doesn't change. Okay, Looking at the wiring schematic it shouldn't. If I go to the center one right here I get 0.785 and as I open this real slowly you can see that it also um, that this side does change. So if I go to the closed throttle position I'm at 7.86. If I go to the wide open I'm at 4.597 and I can slowly close it and you'll see the resistance change as it closes. That tells me that that um, throttle position sensor is good. If you got on there and it had an OL like it does right now, um, that is open line, that would mean that it's broken inside there and you don't have continuity. Normally when you touch these together you'll get a very low ohm rating and right there you have 0.1 ohms which is very little. It's actually out of a 2005 uh, VTX F and all it is is basically two wires completes the path of ground. You can see one wire is terminated to the actual uh, plate and the other wire is terminated. You can see they're real careful not to get it to touch this plate. It runs all the way down uh, to the sensor here. And what that does is it'll actually uh, pick up um, when this gets dipped into a liquid. It'll complete complete the path of ground, and it will actually uh, complete the circuit. Okay, so I'll connect my leads until I've got it in ohms. I've got 17, 13, 
if I can hold my probes right. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. You can see just by holding it I'm changing the resistance. When I dump it in the water I get 4,000 ohms. Now that uh, amount of resistance obviously works in the computer uh, ECU and the fact that I get a change tells me that this is working. If I had uh, OL or open line through that sensor I would know that that sensor is defective.